first and foremost, I think that when Carmen came to Indian River State College, she had something to prove. Not exactly sure how we were so fortunate to be able to get her here. She was Palm Beach County Player of the Year for four years, I believe, that she got that award playing at a very small school over in Belle Glade, and I think that probably didn't get as much credit for being the player as she should have. And so when she hit the college level here at Indian River, she had something to prove. We had actually played against Carmen when she was at Indian River. We knew what kind of hitter she was. Um, and, and we knew that, you know, she had left school and she had uh, PJ. So, but it was worth the risk because she was that devastating of a hitter. So that's how she ended up at FGCU. And, you know, the funny story that goes with that is, um, she came on her recruiting visit, so I took her around campus, and my office was actually uh, three doors down from our athletic director, Carl McAloose. And, you know, as I typically did, took her by, introduced, they had a discussion. She left, and when I came back towards my office, he calls me in, and he basically said, uh, uh, is, he asked me, is she good? And I said, well, that young woman's going to hit 25 home runs and knock in 60 runs next year if she comes here. He said, really? I was wrong. Uh, she knocked in 80 runs and hit uh, uh, Division II record 28 home runs that year. When I think about a Hall of Fame player, it's not just about the numbers, which Carmen's numbers are undeniable. All the home runs, the record's broken. It's that presence, that intimidation factor. Uh, Carmen brought a very Bond-like uh, presence to the field. Never a doubt when she walked on the field that she was going to change a game. She could change it with her defense too, but her offense was just unbelievable. And people showed up to watch her play. She sold tickets as an athlete in college. It doesn't happen a lot with young women, but Carmen did that. She was driven. She wanted to beat you every day. Her competitive drive was second to none. When I met her, the first thing that I noticed about her is how inspirational of a teammate she was. She played with every fiber of her being, with such passion and such heart. If you just look at her swing, it was pure gusto. She would bring her knee way up and then she would swing it right back down and pow, that ball went flying. You didn't want to be on the other side. And when she would round those bases, she would run with such passion and heart. And by the time she got home, she had made her mark on the field. She had made her mark with her teammates and they were all on board and following along. Nothing really brought her down. Um, if she failed, she was the first one to go ahead and get back on the horse and get ready to go ahead and go again. Um, the best story I can tell you is she struck out uh, here at home, came into the dugout, had a temporary uh, you know, outburst, uh, angry about the strikeout, then turned right back around in front of all of her teammates and basically said, she got me this time, but she's never going to get me again. And that was really her attitude on how she played the game. The one thing that I remember most about Carmen was her taking herself out of a game one time to put a young kid in to get playing time. If Florida Gulf Coast was up pretty handy. And she asked Coach Deros to take her out of the game to give a freshman playing time. Wasn't worried about improving her numbers against the team that she could beat up on. That was pretty cool to me. That's, that's pretty great. My oldest daughter said one time, she said, you know, Carmen Piaz is a great player, but she might be the best teammate that we've got. And that's pretty special to say. It was incredible because she still is your biggest advocate. No matter what goal you are going after in your life, she made you believe that you can do it no matter what. And you just had to work toward it. She doesn't judge, she's always rooting for you, and that is what 
it's all about. She's got the biggest, kindest heart. She's got a fantastic husband, a great family right now. She works tirelessly to make herself better and she's really laid herself out there to make an example of how you need to go ahead and move forward, how you rebound from mistakes and make yourself a better person. So I can't be prouder of who she's become. What a great player. What a great honor it is for me for her to ask me to speak on her behalf. And Carmen, congratulations. We love you, kid.